Hey everybody, welcome back to the Black Link Experience. It's your girl, Marva B. Subscribe, like, and share. Leave your comments below because your opinion does matter. We're here for it. Let's talk about it in the chat. Sean Diddy Combs boards Matt Black Combs Air private jet amid reports of federal investigation. As we know, you guys, I said we were going to come back and talk about Diddy, so let's talk about it. The music mogul shared a clip of himself preparing for takeoff on his Instagram story on July the 5th. Sean Diddy Combs is sharing a glimpse into his life. The 54-year-old music mogul, who is reportedly the subject of a federal investigation into S trafficking allegations, uploaded a clip of himself boarding a private jet on his Instagram story on Friday, July the 5th. In the first person video, Combs filmed himself walking up the aircraft, a matte black jet with a Combs Air placemat on the bottom of the steps as he greeted flight personnel. No place like home, Combs said at the end of the video. Combs' latest social media post comes over a week after he scrubbed his entire Instagram page of all photos and days after NBC reported citing sources that Combs was the focus of an ongoing investigation. Insiders told the outlet on July the 3rd that insiders told the outlet on July the 3rd that Combs' legal team was notified of such by federal authorities in the Southern District of New York and that a federal grand jury is hearing evidence as part of the reported investigation. Representatives of Combs did not respond to people's requests for comment at the time. The same day, another S trafficking and assault lawsuit was filed against the mogul by former adult film star Adria English, who alleged that Combs S trafficked and assaulted her for years during his white parties in the Hamptons, New York, and Miami. In response, Combs lawyers Jonathan Davis told people that no matter how many lawsuits are filed, it won't change the fact that Mr. Combs has never SA'd or ST'd anyone. We live in a world where anyone can file a lawsuit for any reason and without any proof, he added. Fortunately, a fair and impartial judicial process exists to find the truth, and Mr. Combs is confident he will prevail against these and other baseless claims in court. So you guys, what we do know is that the Fed sent a letter to Combs and his legal team. And they, at this point, he is, his status with the Feds is that he is a, the subject of their investigation. So either you're the subject or you're the target or you're a witness. And what that means with him being a subject is that they're just looking into these allegations and all of the evidence that they are presenting to a grand jury. Now, at any time, it could change from a subject to a target um, or even a witness. Like the status can change at any moment. But right now, he's a subject of this, which we all knew that he's the subject of this. They're just looking in, into this, um, these allegations and all of the evidence, then what this does is it gives P. Diddy and his legal team a chance to respond and say, for example, like if somebody said, he did this to me and this is where we were. And then he can come back and say, I wasn't even in that, in that state, let alone that city that she's talking about this happened. And here's my proof to show where I was. So that's kind of an example of what the uh, subject of a federal in investigation is. Now, if you're a target of the investigation, that means we got what we need pretty much. Um, we're letting you know that an indictment is coming. So prepare yourself with your legal team or whatever you have to do. So at this point, again, P. Diddy has not been charged with anything. He has not been convicted. He has not had to go before a judge and, and he has not he doesn't have any restrictions on what he can do and what he can't do so by him traveling on july the 5th wherever he's traveling to there is no restriction he can do come and go as he pleases at this time at this point legal attorneys and conversations that are being had is that some folks think that that they're just going to drain him of everything he has all of his money there probably won't be an indictment at this late date but majority of legal conversation is that, you know, this is the feds. They're not going to do what they did and not have any charges brought against P. Diddy. So they are predicting by the end of summer, there will be an indictment um, that comes down for Diddy. And maybe not just Diddy, but a lot of other folk um, that <clears throat> were involved in his act. Since November 2023, Combs has been named in multiple civil lawsuits and has faced multiple allegations of S 
trafficking, and SA in harassment. Combs' ex-girlfriend initially filed her settlement in November, accusing the music mogul of R, S, T, and D, V. Combs, in December, denied all the allegations against him in a statement obtained by People, in which he sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my camp character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Amid the allegations, federal agents raided Combs' L.A. home in March. So, you know, I, here's me, just my opinion again. I feel like, as we know, the feds have a 99% just about conviction rate, right? Um, and everything they do, um, they do on their terms, in their time, to make sure that the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. While he is dwindling financially and his um, empire is shaken. I, I believe there will be some type of charges brought against him. There will be an indictment. Just not sure when, um, but I just don't, I don't know if he'll get out of this. Now, some people will argue that and say, you know, he's protected by the powers that be, you know, way above him. And that, you know, while this is going on, he will not be getting any charges. He will not get indicted. Like he'll slip through the cracks again for his alleged actions on multiple, multiple women, men, staff members, et cetera, et cetera. But there's other talks that if he does go down, if Diddy is um, indicted and he gets charged or he has charges brought, brought forth on him, that he's gonna bring the whole entire hip hop community down. Um, but that remains to be seen. You guys, what is your opinion on this? Leave your comments in the chat. Let's talk about it.